Welcome to day nine. Self-treatment and exercise for pelvic pain. I'm Naomi Big and Pound. Coming onto your back in a comfortable way and coming to your breathing and feeling your body, softening your face and your shoulders and your chest and your back letting go your stomach, your bottom, your hips, softening and letting go, your thighs, front and back, your groin and genitals, letting go, your knees and your shins and your feet, releasing the hands. Continuing on with feeling the body and breathing. Today we're going to talk about pain and the idea that it's the physical body communicating with the brain, the mind. And although perhaps pain can be frustrating, we're going to look for the silver lining and recognize that it's a good thing that our physical body is letting us know that it's not okay. And explore the idea that perhaps if it didn't let us know it wasn't okay, that that would be really scary. If the body was hurting and it didn't say, I'm in pain, I'm not okay, that, that would truly be scary. So, perhaps we can open to or find some gratitude in the fact that pain is our body working and talking to us and we can be grateful for that and we can do something with that. <laughs> so let's take a moment to set our mind create a goal or an intention for today's program. Perhaps just to be present for the next 10 minutes in your body. Finding any sensations that are drawn to you, not necessarily looking for sensations, but if any draw your attention, then going in and connecting that sensation into your mind, finding its location, and finding its location in your body, its depth, its quality, and observing the change and shift. Are there any feelings or emotions that come up with the sensations in your body? Annoyed, irritated, sad, peaceful. I'm repeating that in your mind a few times. Perhaps saying, in this moment, I feel sad about my body and I'm grateful for spending this time caring for my body, my pain. Coming on to your back again today. And do some pelvic shifts. Knees bent. So we're going to gently and slowly float the pelvis off the floor, the tiniest, smallest amount. Feel the weight into your feet. Shift the pelvis over to one side and then kindly placing it back down. Slowly, slowly, like moving through quicksand, float that pelvis just the smallest amount off the ground, shifting it over to the other side and placing it back down. Continuing in your own time, 
floating, feeling the weight in your feet, shifting, and then placing it back down. Respecting and listening to any sensations in your body, perhaps taking a moment's pause, perhaps changing the size of the movement or the speed, perhaps letting go of something, softening the face and the shoulders, and the groin, and the bottom and the back and the stomach. In your own time coming onto your side, perhaps you want a pillow for under your head, hands in front of you, knees together, feet together, gently pressing into your heels, floating your top knee into the air, the right amount for you, and floating it back down. Pausing, if that feels right, listening to their sensations. Lifting and floating that top knee, pressing into your heel and floating back down. Relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your breath. Rolling onto your other side. And continuing on in your own way. Pressing through the heels, floating the knee, softening the shoulders and the face, letting go in the thigh, front and back, softening the groin, the genitals, the bottom, the back. Welcoming any sensations and being grateful for the body communicating with you. And then exploring a movement fit that feels right for you. When you feel you've done enough of that one, you can do this in sitting on the floor. I encourage you, if it's available, to get a chair. We're going to look to move towards some more functional exercises. So sitting on the chair and maybe not sitting all the way back in it, you're sitting a tiny bit forward and if it's available, trying to have your feet flat on the floor and really feel your, your heels and your toes. It might feel right for you to put your hands on your hips today. We're going to start trying to Point the tailbone out the back and roll forward on our sit bones. And then tuck the tailbone un underneath and roll back on your sit bones. So you're slouching, rocking up on your sit bones, pointing the tailbone out the back and then tucking under. So rocking on this pelvis and if Making this your own, if you haven't done this before, it can be, take a little while to figure out. So just exploring and being curious, feeling the sit bones on the chair, taking the pressure to one end of the sit bones and then bringing your pressure to the other end. Tucking your tailbone under and then reaching your tailbone behind you. you can, you're welcome to stay in sitting or if it feels right, you can lie back down onto your back. Feeling your body, coming back into your body. Taking a moment perhaps to say, I'm grateful for spending this time on caring for my body and making myself important. Reflecting on the idea that perhaps we can be grateful that the body is communicating with us when it's not okay. And that's a good experience that the physical body is talking to us. 
congratulations on completing day nine, self-treatment and exercise for pelvic pain. Set your mind and body and focus on your 21 day program. One moment, 10 minutes, one day at a time. And I look forward to seeing you again tomorrow. Have a peaceful day.